and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some frozen food. Going to be our first deck of the day. Uh, this one's going to be a deck that has Tom Kench and Trundle in it. So we're going to be playing uh, Tom Kench, where of course uh, Tom Kench does create these acquired tastes every single round where we can capture enemy units, but of course those enemy units strike our Tom Kench. So to negate that um, striking ability, we're going to be uh, going over to Freljord and playing a bunch of Frostbite stuff. So we'll have like Flash Freeze in here, we got a Harsh Winds, and then we got the combo of Rhyme Tush Shaman, because Rhyme Tush Shaman will round start Frostbite the strongest enemy each round, so we don't have to use a card to Frostbite the strongest enemy. And then, of course, we have Tom Kench out there. We will um, capture it with the Acquired Taste. So that's that's our main combo that our deck is built around. Um, but we're going to be kind of control-ish because we got a couple Howling Abyss at the top end as well. So we kind of like sit back with our Rhyme Touch Shaman. Um, that could be something that we're doing. But then we also have some aggressive elements. Like we have Rhyme Fang Wolf that works great with Rhyme Touch Shaman or just with any of our Frostbite cards that we can Frostbite their stuff, challenge them and just kill them no matter how big they are hey bruised by dog thank you so much for the twitch prime sub you are awesome thank you getting our day started off perfectly all right first sub of the day mark that down so yes that's our deck um uh thank you um we'll see how it goes looks like you know uh we got got some pretty decent little curve of like ones twos and threes and stuff like that too uh, so let's go play our five games over in Ranked. So this one's a donation deck. This is a viewer submitted deck. We got another viewer submitted deck later with the Fizz Diana. So that's what the two Ds here mean if you're uh, newer to the, the stream donation decks. Um, and then we're going to be playing um, two other ones. Uh, I built a Shipwreck Hoarder Smooth Soloist Go Get It deck that should be a lot of fun that I'm really looking forward to playing. We're going to be doing that one up next. And then some good support. Mountain Sojourners, Lulu, Shen... Targon, um, doing some support stuff. All right, so I want to keep the Trapper. The Shaman's, like, part of our combo, but I don't really want to keep two five-mana cards, and with them being an aggressive deck, I want the four, six, regenerate. So I'm going to keep these two. <laughs> now I wish I had have the Rhine Touch Shaman, but, yeah, we're going to need, we're going to want some, like, earlier stuff, too, so I like having this Ice Veil Archer. This Icefield Archer is great against um, Fearsome Things, and both Nocturne and Elise are Fearsome Things. So that could work out pretty well later. Alright, just gonna Frostbite the 3 2, so that if they want to attack, they attack with the 4 3, so I can trade my 3 1 for a 4 3. Which, that's a you know, fairly good trade. The chains, they never stop! <laughs> Alright, bunch of Warden Sprays. It's a good card, but I'm not too worried about that card right now. Because I think that my Trundles and Tom Kench's should be able to go over the top of those. So that's the card they have the ephemeral copy of, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you getting big. Little puppy girl. Oh, well, that was pretty decent. Good nocturne. And I have the I have the backup Tom Kench. So I don't really have to worry about this one dying. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Oh man. Alessandra will slaughter your people. She promised we would fight together. We are going to. Coming in hot! Yeah, I guess this could... I guess, yeah, I guess you're probably right. I guess this is probably a They Who Endure deck. Using Nocturne instead. Oh, I don't require menu. 
Everyone's a god. Yeah, I wish I had one more mana for this Ice Quake. Definitely wish I had one more mana. Supposed to be down to one. So I can go to I can cast Troll Chain and go to three. Which I guess I have to do. Very good hand for them. I mean, I my hand was my hand was pretty good, and you know, we weren't even close to them. I had a great hand. Nocturne was just awesome. That Nocturne was a lot better than what like a an Elise or a Callista would have been. That was a really really good Nocturne they had those previous game, the previous turn. Sorry. See the Nebastian border from here. Lady Elise, where are you? Smashing! Pass over to them. Looking into the future, I see purple. Because I'm worried about atrocity. And there's not a whole lot of things I can do about atrocity. I hope they don't use it. I just couldn't. I just couldn't keep harsh. You know, like obviously I could keep harsh winds up for it, but I just I couldn't win if I was just going to keep on harsh winds. Trundle of I. So probably some poros. That's my guess here. We got some poros going on. All right. Love love having the Omen Hawk right away, and then we'll keep the Flash Freeze to go along with the Tom Kench. But pretty good hand. Three four higher gun. Get bloody, get paid. Okay, does not look like a poro deck. <laughs> Playing faces of the old ones, that does not look like a poro deck. Alright, and they do have the, they are beholding an eight plus cost card. Patience. I played the Avaros and Sentry to have the Troll Chant available also, but what did we catch? Look like maybe we didn't need it. These are troll mm. And of course we know that so we know they have something that costs eight plus mana. Where there's a will. There's a meal. You're in troll lands now. It's good to be the king. Alright, I guess I, I eat Trundle. We'll try to swallow up Trundle. Come on in. Alright, awesome. Alright. 
Yeah, maybe I should just unvive first. Hmm. And they just didn't play anything. Oh, I don't require a menu. Surprising not to play anything. You've done it this time. So they can do that two more times. So even though I could Fury the North, they can just do that two more times. That's pretty unfortunate. Get ready for a beat down. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. All right, past turn. Oh, I guess I guess I could challenge the ice pillar. But yeah, I mean, I guess I could. Smashing. Trouble coming at ya. Hey, Ayo, mom. Hello, hello. I'm gonna play this Howling Abyss and start trying to get some level 2 champions and just see what's up. I'm gonna make a Maybe we get something pretty cool, pretty good. Who knows? Alright, so there, that was the 8 plus cost card that they were able to ramp into from the floor. We're gonna have to get a very good level two champion. Hmm. Or not. We're in a pretty rough spot. I've dressed for the occasion in red. They had a, this is, again, two games in a row now where our opponents have just had great, great hands. You know, just gotta give it up to them. So they had three of the 0-2 ramp card with Field of Rush, and then and still went, you know, turn four by, turn five Trundle, going towards Field of Rush. Like, just a great, great hand. Sure. Why not? That seems pretty fair. That looks pretty fair. Looks like we're playing against Field of Rush again. Unfortunately. I guess it's our hope is to have our combo with Tom Kent and, and uh, Rhyme Test Shaman in play. Alright, so there's some Tom Kenches. Uh, what I what I think we are learning is that they did push the KDA cards to be very powerful. You know, at first we were, you know, kind of thinking, all right, are these are these really going to be played? Are these are these really good enough? You know, like are, are they just like you know, putting together a um you know, a little expansion of, of cool little neat niche KDA cards. And I think what we, what we are learning is that no, those cards are incredibly good. So Icefield Archer is a card that can challenge and ki kill the Weirding Stones right now, but of course I do want to just have, I just want to have Tom Kench 
in play. The trolls are going to war. Let us reconnoiter. Of course, our opponent's playing Vengeance Appetizers and Ruination. Like, they, they have answers to kill my Tom Kench. So I'm trying to eat my own at Tom Kench. So that if they play Ruination, we get Tom Kench back. Or I just kind of hedge my bets against Ruination. Or so, not, so, so we get Trundle back. any of my plays to be honest I'm just gonna pass but like passing is not good because then they're just getting closer and closer to feel the rush I don't really see the scenario of us winning this game like I don't really see what that's gonna look like like how do we ever beat a ruination that that was my plan before was the Bayou brunch the Bayou brunch was gonna be how we beat ruination like but then they had the vengeance so I don't I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing Karma. Oh, I don't require a menu. The river always provides. Who would face me? Bruised by dog with the donation deck. Thank you so much. Can you can you tell me what what your donation deck is and when you want it played or anything like that? Where there's a will, there's a meal. <clears throat> so we're keeping. Try to swallow this Trindamir also. So if they don't have a vengeance, they've already used one vengeance. If they don't have another one, this could be quite good for us. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have priority first at this next turn. So with priority first, we're going to be trying to just capture the 08 immediately. Which will then obliterate the Trindomirs. So they have to have Vengeance, hopefully not. Atrocity. Hmm. Okay, so that stops me from uh, leveling up Tom Kench. And, of course, the other problem with that is, you know, now they can... You know, now they can go in Ruination, which it seemed like they kind of had before anyway. 
All right, just gonna let that happen. These old eyes still see far and clear. Do they have your tracks in the door? I could have saved the 4-2, but I wanted to keep Troll Chant just to help out Tom Kench more. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Mm. GG's. GG's. Same kind of matchup. I don't... <laughs> I'm not impressed with our deck at all. I don't I don't know how we're going to be winning these... Uh, these ramp games against these, these huge ramp decks. I don't, I don't know. Well... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think our deck's probably awesome against aggressive decks that are trying to, you know, small unit decks that are attacking a bunch. I think that we have just a, a bunch of really good defensive things, and uh, we can kind of set up a wall and win a late game. I think we're going to be awesome there, but these these ramp decks that just, you know, play 10-10 champions and, you know, these huge champions, and, and that they also have, you know, a bunch of vengeances and removal for our Tom Kench's... See the I don't, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what the game looks like that has us win, but we're gonna keep trying. So we're, um, you know, I, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I'm definitely passing there. I'm not gonna allow them to ramp. So basically, our problem, the reason why this is a bad matchup is because our pro the problem is is that a deck like this has a very small... And so, see, they had the Catalyst of Aeons. That's why I didn't attack last turn and let them ramp like that the last turn. Where there's a will, there's a... Our deck doesn't have any kind of fast clock. All right, like, like we just don't... We don't attack for enough to kill our opponent before they get the very big champions. And even though we, we can eat some of the champions we saw the last game... They don't really have like enough units for us to eat, and they also um, have really good removal. Um, I'm sure there's something for my taste. These KDA cards have, have increased. What what they definitely have done is they've increased the, the power of late games. And it makes it a lot harder to play. Like the KDA cards have definitely made it a lot harder to just to play mid-range units. Because there's, you know, just like the variety of them, you know, with Field of Rush definitely being one, but then there's the other ones with you know with Karma and the, the new KDA cards. They've made They're they're pushing like they're they're too powerful for for the for the other metagame like you know they're pushing out just playing mid range cards. So shaman opens me up to uh, opens me up to ruination, but I got like with our deck, I guess I really can't play around ruination to be honest. It doesn't feel like it. Where there's a will, there's a meal. There is no shelter. They look angry. Yeah, and that's that's a good call. Maybe like we just need ramp and feel the rush, right? Not not play howling abyss, because yeah, like why? Yeah, why? 
spend seven mana to generate level two champions where you just get two 10 10 champions especially two champions you know like trundle tom kench just put two 10 10s into play so yeah honestly that's that's definitely a thing that, that may be what we need to do eat first why let him level trundle because if i spend mana using acquire taste on the trundle they just kill my tom kench and get their trundle back and then get another ice pillar and everything like that so i'm not planning on eating the trundle so how that <clears throat> um, you know, didn't work out last game seeing Trindomir's. Planned on displaying the Howling Abyss and trying to find powerful cards that can help us win. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Plus five? That's silly. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. My blade grows restless. Okay, I like the Bayou Brunch. Dragon, thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate that. The Rhyme Fang Shaman is really good in here. You know, being able to just challenge things with zero power. The right the Rhyme Fang Shaman, or sorry, the Rhyme Fang Wolf. The Rhyme Fang Wolf is great, you know, works great with the Shaman. I don't think that the, the Rhyme Fang Wolf is what you take out of this deck. But probably right before the KDA cards when there were a lot of discard burn and a lot of like a lot of Bilgewater Noxus. When there were lots of that kind of stuff, I bet this deck was pretty good. Um, but now that it's just all now that just ramp is so powerful and the top end of ramp is so powerful and there's just ramp everywhere. Not looking good. So Tom Kench is going down to, to being a 2-4. That's two units. So hoping that somehow, for some reason, they can't kill Tom Kench. Of I'm making it, you know, a lot more difficult to atrocity, right? Like whenever, clear everything up like that. Yeah. King of Trolls, okay, what do we have in here? Three flash freeze, one harsh winds. Have I played a flash freeze or a harsh winds yet? I think we have to do this and look for flash freeze and harsh winds. Okay, so there's flash freeze. My comestibles are getting cold. We'll get we'll get an 08 back that the the zero eight can block Trendemir.
<clears throat> Unfortunately, the the zero eight that's a play to refill your eight, eight mana. If only if it was like summon refill your eight mana, that would have been great. Because then then we'd be looking at you know Katarina Draven that kind of stuff. So I have to do this so I don't just die right away. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Two atrocity. What will you have? Excuse my This could be bad, of course. Attacking, so we get to obliterate. I know they can have Trindamir block the Tom Kench. You'll need more that is them that. taking ten. And so um, I have like the, you know, the Fury of the North that can help um, kill them. Or obviously we have the Katarina that can allow us to attack again. Uh, Harsh Winds is great. And five. One blocker. I think we're okay still. Just playing Katarina Diana or Katarina Hired Gun. You know, if they have like Vile Feast. Which I guess it's better to do Hired Gun. Because we can we can have the zero power, you know, challenge the Trindamir so they don't get to block with that. So I guess higher guns better than Diana. Oh come on, I do have Vile Feast. That still kills him though. Okay, good. Cool. We gotta win. Good thing we went with higher gun. Wow, we beat Feel the Rush. How about that? Alright, Shadow Isles, Ionia. Keep our Averroes in Sentry. And we'll work towards Trundle. That's one of our powerful cards. We're going to keep that one too. Yep, Spooky Karma. You think this matchup is worse for us? That's bad news. Um, get rid of those. So do, do units that... Like, do decks that just play, like, small units and attack, do those decks exist anymore? Or is it just only control decks with these KDA cards to win the game? Is that, is that it? Isn't that all we've played against? Or just, like, KDA control decks? I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Oh, I don't require a menu. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. All right, setting up our combo. What delightful agony we shall inflict. That is true. Yeah, we did play against they who endure. Yep. That is true. They had a great nocturne. The frost reveals all. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. We're just so, always so dead to Ruination. Thankfully, like, last game, they never played Ruination. Um, but yeah, we have... <laughs> our, 
Our just our whole game plan of our deck is just completely ruined by ruination. Which I guess that's that's why it's called that, I guess. Cause yeah, like if if we eat if we eat Thresh and then they cast Ruination, then they just get their Thresh back and it's just it's just so devastating. So I can't ever actually cast this acquired taste. I'm not sure how I'm keeping this Thresh from leveling up. Yeah, not sure how I'm keeping that Thresh from leveling up. It's at 4 out of 6 now. Ice runs in our veins. Now it's at five. These stories were true. Oh, this is gonna frostbite the strongest enemy first, and then that's going to happen. <sighs> Yuck! I'm not giving that vulnerable. I wanted to give the Thresh vulnerable, then challenge with the six six. Uh, yeah, I wanted to wait on. I didn't want to play this other Trundle, but I guess I have to play the other Trundle. If I play the other Trundle, we just lose to Ruination, though. Sends chills up my spine. It's a good draw. Rhymefang Wolf, come back. All right, we'll try Fury of the North. So now that they have Ruination, I, I at least have Averrosen Trapper. Uh, cause I don't want the Thresh to block the Tutu. I wanted, I mean, I wanted, I wanted to incentivize them to block the other things with Thresh, with me having Fury of the North. The Howling Abyss draw. The answer lies within. Where there is life, there is hope. Yeah, we gotta hope they don't have. Yeah, we gotta hope they don't have deep meditation. Gotta hope they don't have miscall, call, even like rekindler. The game's not over, but we're we have an uphill battle ahead of us. I am going to be playing the Howling Abyss. So what are we removing? It's either the 06 Ice Pillar. That levels up their Thresh and allows them to challenge an Ice Pillar, put another Karma into play. We do have the ability to block other Karma with Trundle, so it's not that bad if they put another karma into play. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Fury of the North. 
I mean, that's, that's great for us getting less Karma in the deck because Karma, you know, is inside of Ages. Like, that, that's, of course, really powerful, so it's, it's good for us to have less Karma in the deck. I'm honestly not even sure if, like, saving Rhyme Tusk Shaman is that necessary, to be honest. I guess we'll do it. Ah, uh, but now with them with them challenging, now they they just put my Rhyme Toast Shaman in front of my Ice Pillars again. That's actually a problem because now Rhyme Toast Shaman frostbites that, and so now I don't now I don't give Karma vulnerable. I guess I I should have let oh man I should have let it die. I don't get to challenge Karma. I wish we had a whole lot, whole lot more room with Heimerdinger now. Now, you know, the go get it is fast speed, so like they would have picked the karma back up. So maybe it's not costing me that much. Okay, they had they had their last karma just in their hands. The sweet smell of science. Yep, so now they got infinite karmas. At least they don't get a draw step. Feels like with the KDA cards, like these games just don't end. But I, that's just the spooky karma kind of deck. This makes us the games don't end. Just you and me, fish bones. So I'm gonna start drawing two cards a turn. Not drawing two cards a turn. Um, so harsh winds would give me a big elusive. Probably not. We'll just take the seven two elusive. Ash is pretty interesting. If I knew that they didn't have Ruination, we, you know, we could play out and and have like a pretty cool Ash this turn. Um, but they are a Ruination deck. 
Bow to your king. One smack will do. But Ash would be pretty interesting. Play another Howling Abyss. It's probably gonna be too many cards too fast, but I guess the good part about that is you know you really don't worry about ruination whatsoever. So we basically we have four slots that we just put our best four things out there all the time. Looking for a really in soul, right? Like that's that's the prize. I think. I think that's the prize. Maybe we make like two karmas. And so then we can have our own karma and karmas inside of ages. Timo! Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Whoa. I'm putting Yasuo here as as like removal bait before I have Ash, but no, they didn't didn't buy it. I will unite the frail yard. We really don't need Time Redinger. Like if they had like another Grass of the Undying, I want them to use it on Yasuo and not Ash, but no. Nope. Might as well. Trindifiz. Never know what hit him. This is gonna be fun. We're getting there. Act with conviction. Yeah, I don't I don't know who runs out of resources first, us or them. Like prob I mean, I guess us, right? Like inside of ages never runs out. Eventually all their deck's gonna be is just gonna be karmas. And so like every draw is four random cards. I guess eventually that's what happens. So like, yeah, every draw step they get four random cards, which I guess, I guess our two random champions each turn is, is that better than four random cards? I guess we run out, I guess, I guess what just happens is we just run out of cards. Probably how that ends. You know, or we kill them. And, you know, either we kill them or we run out of cards. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle. Definitely possible I should just play the Omenhawk first and then play Trindamir over top of Omenhawk. Probably should have done that. And landmarks. All right. Well, that's that's game. That was a great card for Karma to create. GGs. Yep. Should have free up a spot here. Should have cast Omen Hawk last turn to, to get a card out of my hand. Nice to meet. All right. So that's five. Nine, ten. I guess Ice Fail Archer puts three power into play where Double Omen Hawk only puts two. Of 
I'll play the double Omanhawk though. So I'm not scared of Ruination right now because, you know, we have 10 mana, we just play more things, kill them. So not scared of Ruination. So we can do that first. Now, you know, worst case scenario is like Concussive Palm, right? Because that stuns and gets two three twos into play. Yeah, my, my opponent's deck plays great defense. <laughs> Games aren't necessarily always this long, but just the deck that my opponent is playing is the, is the, like the best defensive deck in the format and, and like the slowest deck. It's very difficult to, to defeat them. All right, we finally had an opponent miss with Stalking Shadows. Feel like they're back up to 11, <laughs> not at five anymore. We shall weave our own destiny. So I wanted to play Howling, you know, the Howling Ab Abyss. That was like my plan. Come on, come on. But I guess I'm not. All right, GG's. I was gonna, you know, just have an Omen Hawk challenge. And then we play our three. I was gonna play the three one also. All right, we eventually got there. Howling Abyss did its job, and my opponent didn't play a single Ruination earlier, so that really helped also. Yeah, they could have a couple healing potions. <laughs> Stay alive with that. That's that's yeah, that could have happened. So there we go, there is Frozen Food. Like we said, I think it's probably pretty good against aggressive decks, but then again, we did lose to that They Who Endure deck with the Nocturne was incredible. Um, you know, we didn't have like an Avalanche to help us out or anything in that matchup, but the those slow KDA decks are a real struggle. Um, Howling Abyss was great though. Both of our wins, Howling Abyss did, did some good work for sure. So that that really helped out at the top end, and Rhyme Tush Shaman was surprisingly good. Like even even like those slow matchups, Rhyme Tush Shaman was just um, awesome against you know Trundle and Trindamir, and just frostbiting them all the time. So yeah, I really liked how Rhyme Tush Shaman looked. But there we go. Um, that's frozen food. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.